just about to open up the new coil over so I'm just gonna tidy up the bench a little because yeah it's just easier to work that way so I'm gonna get that done let's get some stuff moved so we can get on to the next one so this is the new coil over box got everything in here for it so I'm guessing that's the brand that tight five whatever it is E30 51 mil that's the name. Tive Tech. I think they're actually the same brand as Hot Tuning and everything because, yeah, it's got a little bit of damage there from when they delivered it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the same brand as Hot Tuning because when I got the wrong ones for the 45 mil, I asked for this and the email address that came through was from Hot Tuning USA. But everyone knows that already. Um, yeah. Let's get this open. So, let's get it open. I'm guessing this is gonna basically be the same as before. Hmm. This one only comes with two of those and move everything off around here. So I'm guessing these are the rear shocks. This will be the front. Oh no, wait, there's the other one. And then we will have the rest of the actual pieces in here, the actual springs. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna need more than one hand because the way it all is. Um, but yeah, let me get them out and then I'll show you guys what it's like. I say all the boxes are out, so. One, two, I'm guessing they're for the rear, so some of the rear springs, yep, spring number one, there. spring number two is going to be in there, yep, let me actually put them onto the table, don't want it dropping off the box or anything, put the box under there, Open. So that's the front pieces. Now these are actually different from the other ones um, that I had incorrectly ordered out. It's completely my fault. So hmm. they're both slotted into each other. I think the springs will basically be the same items. That's not gonna come out. Let me actually get one of these uh, here. Show you what I mean. Hold up. Let me just get this out. Okay. So this is what I mean. So the other ones, I don't know if you I'll try and put a clip in. If not, I'll try and describe it right now. Um they basically screwed into the 45 mil shot these ones aren't like that so this basically screws into the shark and then these screw in afterwards as they would um, as normal and then you basically have everything fitting on so that will get screwed on that will be sat on the inside of there, so it will go through over it like that. Screw it on, tighten it on, and that's where the spring will sit on top of. So, I'm going to get fitting that onto my shocks now. Peace out. So let's actually move some film. Now from the looks of things to me, between the two kits everything is actually the same, apart from the front sleeves. Okay. 
Oh, looks good. So, actually we're gonna look at cover greasing of some of the pieces to make sure that if I ever do want to adjust the height or anything like that in the future, it's not gonna seize up on me. It doesn't look as pretty as it was a couple of minutes ago, but this is what keeps items from seizing like the other parts did. So, for me, I like to do this. Someone's coming into the garage. I'm actually going to turn the recording off because you guys probably get bored watching this, so save some space. The wishbones now got the lollipops put back on, so they're ready to go back onto the car, which is all good. Actually, you just gotta finish putting on the the drop link bit onto that one as well. But might as well finish off with the coilovers. Ended up really badly grazing my finger. I'll add the picture in in a second. That was from actually doing these from rotating it. I think one of them probably had a sharp edge somewhere. So that was pretty fun, um, but yeah, might as well get this all on and together now and then we can carry on installing these and hopefully finish it all up. Look at the thing right now is my brother's helping me <laughs> with uh, getting the shots on because it's too hard to do on your own. So wait for a moment where he's home from work and I'm home um, he's gonna pick it up I'm gonna bolt it on from the top and yeah we'll go about it that way can't wait to get the car done let's get the front on and start on the rears real quick because they don't really take long at all so everyone this is a uh, let me just extend my surface stick one of the moments of truth with the car got everything back and bolted on the front. I hope I haven't made it too low that it's not going to do anything. So I've put some, uh, I don't mean not do anything. I hope it's not, um, basically with the jack, where I've jacked it up front from the center of the front, I've noticed even before lowering the car, it just about fit without hitting the, um, the oil pan and everything else at the bottom of the engine. So I put some bricks underneath the tires. Uh, just going to see how that all goes. It's on, it's lowered, and although I don't need this actually here, I had it there just in case the uh, one it dropped out on me at any point because it's an old hinge and everything and I didn't want to trust it with my head. So while I was working on the engine bay before I thought best thing to do is prop it all up but I'm just going to now double check all the um, bolts at the top it's tight it's really nice I'm not gonna show you guys just how nice it is just yet because I want to get the bonnet up down I'm gonna recheck these bolts later on and the reason why I'm doing them now is obviously you want to make sure it's as tight as possible but okay the interesting bit is is I think I definitely need at least two bricks on I mean a brick on each side to get the car on and off the um the jack but 
Uh, I'm really happy with the height. Actually, that's a lie. Kind of thinking maybe I should have gone a little bit lower. But it probably worked out good this way because with the um, springs and everything, they still have to adjust into their new compression and everything. So it might actually get lower in a bit. But let me show you guys how it looks right now. Like I said guys, front's lowered. For some reason it doesn't look as low as it is in person in the video. But um, yeah, I'm really happy for the time being. Want to see in a week or two how it actually sits. And then go about adjusting it accordingly if I do want it lower as well. Weirdly, I don't actually think there's much more room for lowering it. I'm not sure how these coilovers are because I think... I was literally like three mil off the bottom, if that. So I'm kind of like, okay, if I can only go three mil lower, then what can I do? But maybe it's because of the engine as well, because it's a lighter engine, it's just not pushing its weight on it all at the moment. <sighs> Pretty happy. It looks so much better than it did before. I'm just happy to see it back on its wheels. Um, I'm actually thinking of quickly taking the car out for a test drive, making sure there's no rubbing or anything like that at the front and going from there. So that's the car at the moment. Let's take it out for a quick drive. See you guys in the bizzle.